Hey guys, it's me, Blue Dog 10 and welcome to another Terraria video. There we go. In this video, hopefully, we'll be taking out the final mechanical boss. It's going to be a difficult challenge. So difficult that I'm kind of worried. Okay. So I don't think it's going to matter about time. When it comes to defeating this thing, it's going to matter whether or not I can defeat it. I think I'm doing great damage on him, actually. So this one's dead. Does that just leave the head? I think that Lily just leaves his head left. It kind of looks like actually, though, he's immune to these. the. Uh, cursed arrow thing I have on. Not the cursed arrow, the cursed fire I have that. is supposed to set enemies on fire. It looks like he may or may not be immune to that, so. Not worried. As you can see, I changed the arena here to asphalt. I also set up something beautiful, which I'll show after I finish the fight. I don't know if you've already seen it. He's going to have a second form, is he? Just waiting for that second form. Yeah, because if you do melee attacks, it's supposed to get them a cursed fire effect, and it's not doing that, so... I think this person is immune to that. I'm not even worried. He's barely done any damage to me. I don't know why I was so worried. You'll probably just defeat him right now, actually. But you know what? Because I'm so confident I'm going to defeat him easily. Let me grab another one. And get ready to spawn it. Let's go. The jungle grows restless. Exactly what I was looking forward to seeing.
So it looks like his different saws and things aren't immune to the cursed fire, but everything else about him is. His body is immune to the cursed flames. I think I'm literally just shooting wooden arrows now. Okay, where is the hearts back here? Perfect. Oh shoot, oh shoot. There we go. Let me heal back up a little bit. So I've been doing a little bit of redstone into area. Also known as wiring, because that's Terraria's equivalent of redstone. And I set up something which will help me easily get in between here and my house. Heal up a second. I think this might actually be a second form. Because he hasn't given me any second form. Let me just make sure he's not going to despawn soon. I don't want that to happen. 149. <coughs> Pretty sure if I remember hearing nighttime ends at 4.30. Well... I think I can understand why it may or may not have been easier defeating the hard mode bosses this time around. Got it. He's down. Okay, I'm gonna switch this off real quickly. So this little system I set up right here is on a timer. This is a heart statue. This is a switch which activates the timer, which activates the heart statue, so every few seconds, I think it's like every 10 seconds, it drops a heart. Which is perfect for whatever. Let's see what I can now craft if anything else has been unlocked as of yet. <coughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so I think there might have been something added. Oh, yeah, the Drax. This is added after you defeat every single boss, or if you're lucky and your world happens to have one in a shadow chest... Like mine, you can get it that way too. Now, essentially, this thing allows you to mine chlorophyte, which gets you the armor. That's good armor. So, I actually equipped the hollowed mask because it turns out it has better defense than the turtle mask or the turtle helmet.
No. Let's see. What else is craftable now? There might be something in the armor stuff. I don't know. I want to quickly check. Yes, Neptune shell. This is what I've been wanting because I don't know. I just wanted it. Okay. Wait a minute, I didn't check everything. There's probably not new potions that are unlocked. I wouldn't expect there to be. But yes. Um, as you heard, the jungle grew restless. And we'll quickly show you what that means. I'll quickly show you what that means. Very quickly, before we test out what the thing to the right was. So now, which is going to be hopefully the main focus of one of the next few episodes. There's a bunch of werewolves. Anyway, let's go down here. And eventually, you'll see something different spawn down here. I don't know how easy it's going to be to see it. I don't want to accidentally hit it. Because if you do that, it's not good. Oh, there's some extra life fruit. But once we find one of these things, we have to build an arena. Another arena down where one of these things is. Ancient Cobalt? Sitting on something. Okay, okay where is it? It kind of worries me that I haven't seen any one of them yet. They're supposed to immediately spawn after you beat the third and final mechanical boss. There's one. So this thing right here, which it's fine to hit. It looks like you can't. Ju you just can't use a pickaxe on it. But that glowing purple thing right there is known as a plantera bulb. And when you click on it, when you break it, things do not end well for you. My recall potions are gone. Well, I guess there's one way of getting home. I swear I grabbed three recall potions. Unless I threw them away because I tossed a few items in the trash bucket. Ooh! Ooh, I saw a tip for this. On a video, I saw some tips if you put that in your trash can. Well, now I just... 
No, I just completely lost that item. Whoops, I just completely lost all my coins. I guess it only works in the computer edition, but I saw a tip for if you put coins in your trash area before you die, like, it was supposed to give me the ability to not drop those coins, but I guess that didn't work. So let's just die quickly. And yeah, I'm gonna end off this episode here. But after a quick second. So this thing set down here is a teleporter. So when I walk over it, I'm at my battle arena. If I walk over this one, I'm back at home. Etc. Etc. So that's it for today's episode of Terraria. In the next episode, we're either going to just mess around and build stuff or fight Plantera. So yeah, that's it. Bye.